Hello, this is a quick walkthrough of registration on the Midwest GeoBash website. Um, it may look a little different than this because we made the video uh, for the 2014 bash, but the steps will be the same. First, you need to sign in. So if you don't have a username, go ahead and get a username. But I have a username, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Don't need to click Remember Me, but it keeps you logged into the site, which makes it easier the next time you come back. Over on the right hand side you'll see the statistics if they're active, uh, but the important thing is this registration drop down. First thing you're going to want to do is check your information. This is how we contact you. Look here for your username. Uh, that's just to log into the website. It doesn't really have anything to do with um, your registration, uh, but this email address down here, this is how we get in contact with you. And so make sure that's accurate. And then if you're sure this is accurate, you can move on to registering your party. Registration comes in really three steps. Uh, step one is to confirm that contact information we just talked about. Step two is to add your users, so I'll go ahead and add mine. All right, and you can add other attendees just by clicking this button here and you can add as many people as you have in your party so if you've got six people coming with you in your group go ahead and add them all to your registration um, if you are coming in two groups uh, and you intend to arrive at different times usually it's more helpful uh, to have each party that are going to arrive together register as their own group um, that way all the swag and name tags and stuff are under that same group uh, Step three is optional. Uh, you can come down here and look at the swag that we have for the event. Usually we have path tags. You can see the path tag sat for 2014 here. We have our GeoCoin, which you can see here, and we have our t-shirt. You can get all these together in one package called the event full package here. If you sign up early on the website, uh, you get always 10% off. And if you sign up and buy your uh, swag in the um, first month of the registration you actually uh, get an additional 10% off so it's a great way to save money it also helps us uh, raise some early money that we need to book uh, venues and get insurance and that kind of stuff uh, so to add items you just simply use these drop downs so for the full package you would choose your shirt size oh sorry it's gonna tell me I have to add people first so I have to save my registration so you can see here my attendees were updated, my swag was updated. You can come down here and you can see my uh, name went from unsaved to confirmed. So now I'm on my, I have a registration entry now. And then down here in the uh, swag section, now I can say I want a 2XL shirt and I want an extra 2 or an XL shirt, let's say. And I'm going to get three geocoins and I want a couple extra path to access. Now you get a shirt a geocoin and a path tag set with the full package so these would be sort of add-ons or if you only wanted the shirt or only wanted some coins or you wanted more coins that come in the package you can build up your swag order here and you can change the quantities here if you decide that you don't want this extra shirt you simply you know click X and it'll remove it uh, now I can um, save registration and pay later that's what I'm going to do right now or I can pay now but I want to pay later uh, for the purpose of this walkthrough and that uh, puts all of my swag on the order. <clears throat> so if I look down through my, my registration now, I can see myself registered, and I can see all of the swag that I ordered and my total that's due. All right, so now I'm gonna wanna camp at GeoBash. So I'm gonna go back up to registration and go to book camping. Right now, squatters rights are in effect. And so when they are, you'll see this notification uh, we do ask that if you are uh, not a squatter or you're trying to book um, an open site uh, that you don't book one just to get one. We have uh, 556 campsites in 2014. Maybe we might have more in uh, later years. <laughs> the idea though is there's plenty of camping. Um, <clears throat> squatter's rights runs for a short period of time after which all unreserved or unpaid reserved sites go back to the public. So when you click in a section here like in F, you can see at a glance how many sites are free in those areas. You can see uh, RV is 90%, um, 
but like in section N, there's zero sites free, there's 100% full. But if you click a section you might be interested in camping in, and this is the overall venue map here on the left. Uh, it's north is pointing to the top, and south is pointing to the bottom. You can see uh, right here is the entrance to the fairground. Uh, Area 51 here where we have our campfires. We have east, west, and north camping. Those are really close to Area 51. So if you're, uh, if you're adventurous and you're up for a little noise, uh, that's a good place to go. We have our parking right here, so uh, if you are just a day tripper or you can't fit your car in your campsite, you park here. If you do park your car on the roads in the campground, you will get a ticket from the county sheriff, not from us. Uh, so be careful about that. But just find a place that you think sounds cool to camp, and you'll be able to look over here on the right-hand side, and anything that's orange is reserved, anything that's white is open, and anything that's red, let's find a section with a little of each, here we go. Anything that's white that's open is or is white that is open. You can click it to reserve it. Orange is reserved for at least a period of time, um, and red is confirmed and paid. And when you highlight it, if uh, we know who's camping in that site, you'll see the person's name. Uh, in this case, adventurers. And then over here, we have geo trails and jellyfish and butter dish down here. So you can kind of get a sense for who your neighbors might be. If you're looking for someone in particular, it's a great, great way to find them and then try and get yourself located near them. But when you find a site, let's say it's this one. I love this site. It's my site. I want to book it. You simply review the details over there on the left to make sure it you know, fits your needs. And then you click the site. And it's going to pop up a notice here, squatting periods in effect. It's asking you again, don't book the site unless you really intend to keep it. We're a small volunteer group, so we don't have a lot of uh, ability to move people around after the fact. So we really do ask you to sort of, uh, you know, only pick a campsite during squatting uh, if it's the one you really want. Otherwise, wait until the squatting period's over. A lot of campsites will free up, and you can look around and see what's available at that time. So I'm going to go ahead and book that. Now this is just reserving the sites for me, and what I see down here is now I have an unpaid reserved campsite. And, you know, if I want a second campsite, I can come in here and, uh, I forgot what my first one was. There I am. I want this other campsite, too. Um, you know, to get a sense for how the roads are laid out, you'd look over here at the main map. Um, and what, what you would know from looking at that is that these two rows are, uh, together. So they face each other. There's a road that goes up through the center and on either side. So if I wanted two campsites, uh through because I have a long trailer I'd select the second one over here too that gives me two campsites across uh, that I can uh, pull my trailer through now make sure you read um, our uh, policies they're up here the camping and venue policy is one of the most important it details the uh, size of the campsites if you're camping and also uh, we have some Fulton County health codes that we have to abide by those are detailed there as well uh, in, in particular, there's some rules about how close tents and campers can be to each other, and they're very important. They will make you move uh, or you know, pick up and move sites if you can't accommodate uh, your, your setup within the space you've reserved. Um, and again, that's the, the Fulton County Health uh, uh, Department. We don't have a lot of you know, input into that. You can see a full venue map by clicking this link. They'll bring up the full venue map, and you can get a sense for all the campsites and where the roads are and things like that. Uh, when you're ready, you just click down here, pay for camping, or you know that includes unpaid registration items, or if you're back on the registration page, uh, down at the bottom, right, we saw that you can pay later or you can pay now. So if you click pay now on either one of those pages, you're going to get forwarded over to PayPal with your total. Uh, you know, log in like you normally would. I'm going to do it up here because I have a PayPal account. Complete the PayPal process and it's instant payment notification. Instant doesn't always mean like this second. Uh, so give it a few minutes and it'll credit your order and you'll see that it's uh, paid on the website and uh, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go back to the website real quick. The last thing you might want to know about registration is how to check you know what you've done. The first thing you can do is to come and just you know look through these pages. This will always be here and it'll be saved in, in the way you left it off. Um, and, but you can also go to print your registration report. When it gets close to event time, doing this is kind of helpful. Um, just knowing this number up here, 1406 in my case, 
is really helpful to the volunteers at the event because if you tell them I'm um, uh, registration 1406 uh, they'll be able to go find your uh, will call items very quickly and easily. They'll be able to help you find your camping very quickly and easily. So that number is kind of your ID at Geobash. If you don't know it, no problem. We do have lookup lists. It'll just take a few minutes to find you. Um, and then we always have a printed copy of this at will call. And we do use our printed copy at will call as the official record. So even if you have yours, we'll have you sign ours to acknowledge receipt of, uh, of items. Uh, so that's kind of the 10 minute version I guess of registering for GeoBash. Uh, hopefully that uh, answers any questions you might have. If it didn't, uh, feel free to email us at info, that's info at mwgb.org. Info at mwgb.org or info at midwestgeobash.org. Thank you.